Hey guys, so today I'm going to do my skincare routine with you guys for nighttime. I've had a lot of people asking about what I have been doing for my skin, and so I figured today I'm about to take off my stuff anyway. I just have sunscreen and like a, like a little bronzy drop thing today, but I'm going to show you guys exactly how I would normally take off my makeup if I had like a full glam. So I got these little things from Amazon, and they're actually quite nice. I saw so many people using them, and I was like, oh how ridiculous do they look? But then I got them and I was like, actually, that's quite nice. Normally I go in with the Bioderma Sensibio H2O to remove my eye makeup. I'm not having any on today, so I don't need to do that. Then I go in with the Bioderma Sensibio Micellar Cleansing Oil. This is new. I'm obsessed. I'm going to have everything linked either on YouTube Shopping or in the comment section and description box. So if there's anything that you're like, oh, actually, I got to try that out, then... There'll either be a view products button. I think I can link a lot of this stuff on YouTube shopping. There's like a view products button on the screen that you can click or just check my description box. And just like really massage that in because it literally just melts everything off. It just feels so nice. It's super gentle. So the next thing I do is just get a nice warm washcloth. I like really warm water at night because, I don't know, it just feels really soothing and relaxing, doesn't it? This is my favorite cleanser at the moment. It's literally so good. It's the Tetra Acidic Facial Wash from Cirque Cell. <coughs> I am almost out of it. That's all I have left is that tiny little bit and it's so good. I'm so sad. I need to order more. Literally the best facial wash I've ever used in my life. It has numerous different acids to help um, remove dead skin cells. It's just incredible. The scent of it is pretty strong, so just keep that in mind because it kind of smells like mature woman perfume. It's quite it's quite strongly scented, but I quite like it now. I've gotten used to it, and now it's like kind of comforting. Um, but it does kind of smell like old lady perfume. Not gonna lie. I just really massage it, and it's got little exfoliating beads. I take it down my neck. It honestly just makes your skin glow. So I'm gonna rinse all of this stuff off of the towel and then we'll take this off. So now I just basically wipe all of that off and it is so smooth after you do this. I do exfoliate my skin with like a kind of more of a scrubby scrub. Um, usually like twice a week, but this is my everyday cleanser. I don't want to leave anything on the skin and because this does have like little exfoliating beads. Oh, I just ripped my earring out. Do you guys see that? It literally just, where did it go? I literally can't find my earring. It just disappeared. I'm so sad. That was my Miranda Fry. Um, okay, so you see how glowy my skin is? That's with nothing on. This is new to me and it's pretty spectacular. SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. There's so many amazing benefits. I'm just gonna leave the link. You guys can look it up because I cannot remember. But basically their Patera Essence is like insane for anti-aging. It comes out like a water. It's an essence, but it feels like water. It's so thin. And I take that all over my neck. I put it on my eyelids. Like it's so gentle. Then we go in with another essence. It's Korean, it's Tear Tear Milk Skin Toner. It's supposed to be moisturizing and soothing. It's got chamomile extract and rice bran, rice bran, rice bran extract that make skin moist and smooth. Looks like this. It's a little thicker than the SK2. You can feel it has a little bit more like substance to it. It's incredible. So, oh, I just messed up. Normally I put my active treatment down after the SK2, but I completely forgot. So we'll just do that next, but normally I would put that down next. Next, we're gonna go in with the Obagi Cleanserm. This is my acne treatment. This is the only acne treatment I have ever used that actually controls my acne. If you guys have been with me for a long time, you know I suffer from severe cystic acne all along here. Basically, this is the only thing that saved my face. I've been using it for years since the kids were toddlers. Next, I go in with another Korean toner or tea essence. It's the Vegan Kombucha Tea Essence from Dr. Suracle. I think I have a coupon code for this, you know, and for the tear tear. 
So this is a little milkier and I basically just pop that on top Take it down my neck. My skin is literally so glowy and hydrated after this. It's just spectacular. Okay, next we're gonna go in with the Caudalie Vino Perfect. I just got this. This is new to my routine. Normally I do two other serums, but this is what I've been doing lately because I just got it and I've been wanting to test it out. But it's basically supposed to be more effective than your vitamin C. It also smells incredible. So this has replaced my vitamin C and my niacinamide. So far, I'm loving it. It's giving me a gorgeous glow. It smells so good. I use it morning and night. It feels amazing. You can probably see the glow it's given me. And I go in with my Vino Perfect Caudalie Eye Cream. So I like this. It's quite handy and small. And I just go underneath the eyes. And I kind of go up on the lid a little bit like this. And I take the Caudalie Vino Perfect Cream. This is like the moisturizer. It says to just use it in the morning, but I've been using it at night. Also smells amazing. Like the smell of this stuff is just yummy. So yummy. I don't even know what it is, but it smells so good. You guys just have to trust me. It's just such a soothing, like, kind of fresh, yummy scent. And like, look at the skin. It's gorge. I like slather it all on at night. This is the Kahi Wrinkle Bounce Multi Balm. It's basically like a little balm, looks like a chapstick. And I go like this. And I kind of focus it like all along places that I would have wrinkles and it just gives you a little extra oomph and like really locks in that moisture and it makes your skin look incredible when you wake up. Then we're gonna go in with castor oil. I just put it on a little spoolie. This one's from e.l.f. and I basically just brush up my brows and it keeps them in place and then It also is supposed to help grow your hair. Is it helping? You guys be the judge. I actually can't tell. I've given up on my brows at this point in my life. It's time to brush my teeth. I've been drinking way too much tea, so it's time for some whitening. These are the Ollie Teeth Whitening Strips. You get 24 strips, which is 12 treatments. So we're gonna pop these on. You just leave them on for 30 minutes. You're just gonna peel it off comes with a bottom and a top. So that's gonna sit on for 30 minutes. While those are sitting on, I'm just gonna do some lip balm. I love this stuff, it's so nice, it smells so good. I'm gonna get into my PJs, I'll show you them, they're so cute. Okay, PJs are on, are these not the cutest ever? I absolutely love them. They're from Victoria's Secret, I will link them for you guys. I always sleep with my bun in a hair. Mm, what did I just say? My hair in a bun? Cause otherwise, because I've got so much stuff on my face, my hair will get so oily. So I just sleep with it in a bun right on the top of my head. I always put bedtime scents on. This is N818 from Noteworthy. I spray my hair and I'm gonna mix it with the Radiant Grace from Philosophy. Oh, it's a bit wetter, I'm not gonna put that one in my hair. And I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.